Okay, hi guys and welcome. In this video, we're focusing entirely on clean racing. Um, it's a bit of a big issue at the moment. There's a lot of people racing around online, um, driving like idiots. Um, there's also the occasional accident that's happening just through maybe lack of skill or something, but there's a lot of collisions happening. People are getting annoyed. And um, at the end of the day, I just don't think there's any reason um, for a lot of the carnage that's happening on online racing. So what we're going to do here is just make a point uh, about how easy it is to keep clean. So I picked a random um, race in the single player or career mode, whatever you want to call it. And it's part of the Seeker Open. We're going to Rio on the national circuit. We've got this uh, mini with the red driving school livery all over it and that's a little bit of a joke for myself there because that's actually what I do for a living uh, so this is a replica um, of my paint or livery that's on my car and in fact it's actually the same number plate as well um, but we've all done it we've all uh, we've all done our um, our work vehicles in Forza uh, if they're relevant you see many transit vans and stuff like that driving around all with different liveries on them so here we go so I thought I'd give it a go and there's mine um, but so going back to what we're focusing on I'm just trying to highlight how easy it is to race clean 100% clean absolutely everywhere so no contact with other cars at any point irrespective of fault uh, there's always a sensible time to make an overtaking maneuver you don't have to do it at a crazy moment sometimes you might find that you're doing these kind of tricky overtakes at the worst possible points um, where in actual fact if you sort of hang back a little bit and try and overtake it at a different position in the track um, you'll almost certainly get around clean without knocking anyone off or um, causing any damage to your own car uh, so that's the whole point um, of the video so before we start there's a couple of things that I want to point out that I'm doing to make this as tough as possible but yet make it as easy as possible as well or prove that it can be easy so the difficulties we've got the game set to are unbeatable limited aggression is um, off um, and then going over to the uh, assists um, as per my usual setup the only thing that's any different is the steering which I've got set to normal um, and everything else is off we'll turn the rewind off as well not that it makes much difference um, the other thing I've done, I've just upped the uh, race length. Well, I say up it to long. I normally run them on extra long, um, but uh, I'll put it at long. I think that puts it at 10 laps for this particular track. Uh, yep, there we go, 10 laps. Um, and then to make it even harder uh, and give us as many overtakes as possible, I'm going to drop back to the back of the pack uh, by the first corner. So I can't do anything about my starting position. If I could just start in 24th, then I'd be happy with that, but I can't. Um, so I'm going to have to manipulate that. I'm going to start in 11th. That's just where I'm going to start. As soon as we're going, I'm just going to pull over to the side, let everyone go past, um, and then gradually work my way up for what should be a simple, contact-free win. Um, it's really not that tough. It's just about picking the right spot and when to overtake. And that is pretty much it. Okay, so let's do it. First things first, drop back, let everybody go past. Okay, so I'm hoping as well that this is going to be as easy as possible. Okay, so there's a really good reason to start off with why to hold back and not get too carried away in crowds. Two places gained. I couldn't have gone any slower around that first corner. <coughs> A 
Okay, the other thing that's important here is let the pack spread out as much as possible. and another two places there. I don't think I'll bother trying to overtake these guys up here though. That's probably asking for asking for contact. people following really closely behind this is obviously what I'm talking about when you're playing against a computer um, if they're getting really close try sticking to your racing line it will normally help prevent collisions but in a situation like what's coming up here sometimes you have just got to hope oh but we'll take that there we go, right, so a lot of the positions that I've gained here have been going around accidents. I've not really tried. I'm certainly not going to be setting any, you know, global leaderboard lap times. But what is important to really point out here, I'm up to 15th place. I've only completed two laps, which is just obviously starting lap three. I've not really even tried. This is the point I've been trying to make. You can race clean and win races with an incredibly small amount of effort. Good, up to 14th. Two more and we're halfway through the pack. So again, you can see, you push it a bit when you've got some room in front of you and when you catch up to the cars in front, back off a little bit, give them some space either overtake it at an appropriate time or wait for them to make a mistake because it will happen. Even like that, bad traction coming out of a corner.
still not convinced. Something's going to happen up here. I'd rather, rather hold back a little bit. It's a shame because the Mercedes is catching me at that. Okay, hopefully now. Go, 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 go. halfway through the pack and we're still a hundred percent clean don't want that to be the uh, those to be the famous last words stuff it straight into a wall but looking good so far it's getting better towards the front of the pack as well look at the space in between these cars it's gonna make overtaking much easier to 11th, four laps in. Okay, and lap five comes to a close and into ninth place. This is looking pretty good. It's definitely getting slightly tougher to make these overtakes, but it's it's still not turned into a hot lap, hot lap challenge yet, has it? It's, it's still pretty controlled. Okay, there's eight. It's a really popular place, or popular point rather, to overtake coming up that hill. Just get around that bottom corner faster than the AI. Good spot. OK, 
Okay, currently everyone in sight that we've got to overtake. Up into seventh, very nice. Sensing a, an arrival of a lack of space there, just holding back a touch. slowing us down a little bit there. Maybe it'll take a wide corner and we'll cut on the inside. Maybe that's exactly what we'll do. Okay, so there they are. First, second and third in front. Um, just started lap eight. Still obviously nice and clean, no contact with anything or yeah, anyone or any boards or walls or anything like that. This is uh, pretty straightforward and it's not been it's not been tough, has it? Everyone should be able to race like this. It doesn't have to be like it is sometimes on these online or in these online lobbies. Then I thought, thought he was going to just clip the back end of the car. But got through unscathed, two laps to go, and on the podium. So there we go, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Definitely have to pick your opportunities a little bit better when you're up with the front runners because generally you need a bit more, a bit more room, or 
or a much better corner exit or something. Something to help sort of propel you past the car. from this wide turn. Okay, one lap to go, and um, one car to get past. race. Look at that. So in all fairness, that really wasn't all that all that difficult. Just pick your moments when you're gonna overtake. Um, don't try anything stupid at a bad time or and don't try coming off the racing line too much or tr don't try try not to come off the racing line too much because that makes a big impact especially when you've got cars around you. Those AIs do tend to back off a little bit when you're on the racing line. Apart from areas like this where everyone's breaking at the last minute, it's all a bit chaotic. Um, yeah, just be careful. But there you go. We should all be able to run on this difficulty. And could we please have a new difficulty? Uh, one harder than the current one. Um, and the ability to start at the back of the pack and not have to drop back intentionally would be uh, would be nice qualifying stages that would do it there you go anyway guys all done and that is how you do that so pretty pretty easy um, we got round there was nothing too difficult about it don't forget at the beginning of this deliberately dropped all the way back we started in 11 so providing you can escape the carnage of that close proximity racing you, you can still you know just wait for the pack to sp spread out a little bit and just work your way up from there you don't have to drop all the way back to 24th but there you go it, it's, it, racing cleans easy it's all about it's all about your mental approach and um, picking the right moment so there you go um, that's that um, what I'm going to do now, um, just in case you want to see it, uh, if you don't, switch off now and thanks very much for watching. Um, but I'm going to leave you with the replay of that, so I'm going to switch my cameras off. And um, we'll, uh, we'll leave you with the replay. There we go. Okay guys, uh, thanks very much. Um, if you've enjoyed that, uh, hopefully it's proved the point that it's easy enough to win races, uh, even on the hardest difficulties. Just just make sure that you're keeping it clean and um, yeah, yeah, don't drive like an idiot. It's not difficult. Um, but there we go. Uh, enjoy the replay. Uh, if you have liked the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do that as well. And until next time, uh, thanks a lot. Speak speak to you soon. Ta da.